Hey, Gemini gang. Happy December. I didn't post yesterday, so I'll do, I will do two readings today. Um, I needed to rest my voice yesterday, but I am back, you guys. Um, all Gemini placements, take what resonates, I leave the rest, all right? Personal readings are in the description box. Hit that like, hit that subscribe. Greatly appreciate it, y'all, okay? So let's see what's going on. Gemini's, whoa. All right, Gemini's. Let's see what's going on with you. Lots of cards came out. Attraction, new love, let go of control issues, healing family issues, deception, and pay attention to the red flags, Gemini's. All right, guys, let's see what's happening. Okay, so we're seeing healing family issues again. I'm also seeing deception again on the bottom. So someone may be having some family stuff going on or some type of traumas. Okay. Chemistry. Ooh. Engagement. And flirt on the bottom. All right. So, Gemini, let's see what's going on with you. Whoa. Cards are going everywhere. I'm seeing the four swords. Ooh, Gemini's, someone wants to talk to you. You're going to get a text from someone. This could be some uh, childhood issues, um, Gemini's, that um, this person is having to deal with or is overcoming. Um, yeah, the hermit's on the bottom. So it could be a Virgo for some of you. So the magician comes out. The sun and the hangman so gemini's i'm seeing some type of enlightenment here wow gemini's you have three major arcana actually four because you have the hermit over here on the bottom i feel like gemini's some time apart was needed um if you are apart from this person um i feel like someone is is going to reach out to heal this to fix this Mm -hmm. I'm seeing some good potential between you, uh, Gemini's, between you and this person. Um, could be something you've manifested or something that this person has manifested. But I feel like, um, Gemini's, this is going to work out for you. Like, I'm seeing this going in your favor. I'm seeing, like, like one text message from this person is going to change y'all's whole dynamic. Like, yeah. I feel like someone's seeing things differently. Someone might be seeing things from a different point of view, but this is also some enlightenment. Because if you see the hangman, how he has that halo around his head, and next to the sun, of course the sun is going to be, it gets no lighter than the sun, okay? Um, there's some type of enlightenment that's happened between you and this person. So whatever happened in y'all's separation, or whatever happened between y'all's conversation, or whatever, I feel like some of you guys want to get a text, a DM, a call, whatever, from this person. And it's going to lead to uh, some type of understanding, some type of clarity, some type of um, seeing things from each other's point of view. Gemini's. Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. I feel like this is some type of childhood wound. Like I said in the beginning, uh, Gemini's, someone has some childhood wounds that they're working on. It could be something that has to do with this person coming from a place of lack or this person feel like they don't deserve anything. Like they don't deserve uh, the best or they're not worthy. They're not worthy of love. Them. They're, they're not worthy of good things in life, uh, Gemini's. Yeah, Eight of Swords on the bottom. I feel like this this person is is starting to notice some things about themselves because the the hermit seeks to understand. The hermit investigates, analyzes, and I feel like this person is starting to see um they may have some some
thoughts and things like that that aren't necessarily true about themselves. Geminis. Or about you or about love and, and connections in general, Geminis. Yeah, Ace of Pentacles. Child. <laughs> Hold on, guys. All right, y'all. So, yeah, Geminis, I feel like there's something here that you've manifested. That's what I'm seeing. You are going to get a solid offer from this person, a solid, stable offer from this person. And it could be something that you've waited on or they've waited on. Gemini, take it how it resonates. Queen of Pentacles and the Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. I'm seeing the lovers again on the bottom of the deck, you guys, which is also a six, which is peace, harmony, love, uh, compassion, cooperation, Geminis. So I feel like, like I said, someone is um, seeing things from a different perspective, Geminis. This person may have, might be looking at their ways from the past. This person may have also been stuck in the past as well. Like comparing you to a situation that hurt them before. That has nothing to do with you. Gemini, this is an engagement here for a lot of you. Now, I know that's not going to resonate with everyone. But whatever the next level is, um, this can also be this person like wanting a child or wanting a family or something along the lines of that. Because the Queen of Pentacles is the parent. Um, Gemini's. Yeah, this person sees you as like a wife or husband material. This person sees you as a spouse. Mhm. Mm and then on the love or on the oracle it says your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. So whatever that looks like for you, Gemini's. I feel like whatever this text is going to be about, whatever this conversation is going to be about is going to help y'all's connection go to the next level, Gemini's. Yeah. After all the BS that y'all been through with this person, um, Gemini's, I feel like you are actually, this is actually going to work out for you. And I feel like this person does want to, um, this person wants the same thing that you want, Gemini's. It's, it's as if though this person has insecurities and I, I picked this up on you guys, for you guys a lot. It could be something financial because it's the five of pentacles, but it doesn't have to be just money related, guys. I, I feel like this person is, is, they have some insecurities that they need to work through or that they're working through. Um, Gemini, whatever they may be, financially, emotionally, um, whatever, uh, Gemini. I feel heavily, though, that it has to do with how they grew up in their childhood. Um, they may have had, had people around them that didn't, you know... Um, treat them right or talk to them right they may have been talked to crazy as a child or put down a lot as a child so they kind of grow up in this feeling unworthy Gemini's that's that's kind of what I'm seeing here but I feel like this person is starting to like catch on to their ways now I'm not saying that they're going to you know change everything overnight but I feel like you two are going to talk to each other, like have a conversation with each other. Like it's it's as if a text message comes in and it kind of gets the ball rolling or a DM or whatever. Have this person reaches out to you, Gemini, and it, it gets the ball rolling because this person doesn't want to miss out on you. They don't want to let their insecurities and their, you know, their poor communication skills um, mess up the connection. And I'm seeing this person's communication skills are not good okay they need work a lot of things about this person needs work okay um but i feel like gemini's <sighs> gemini's i feel like you you want what you want that's this is kind of what i'm seeing uh, <laughs> i can't even put it in any other way like you, you just want who you want you just love who you love that's what i see here man i feel like you know that you know that you might be and I won't say you're out of this person's league per se, but um, and when I say out of out of your uh, out of their league, it doesn't mean necessarily financial because I feel like when people say, "Oh, or you know, I'm out of your league," they automatically go with looks and 
um, money, but it's it's other ways to be out of other, somebody's league, spiritually, emotionally, mentally. You know what I mean? A, a maturity level. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I feel like you might be a little a little bit out of this person's league in in one of those categories, Gemini's. Yep, what I, what I tell you? What did I tell you? Whew. Knight of Swords. Mm -hmm. I feel like the fact that this person hasn't been getting any sleep. Is going to um, is going to um, kind of push them to uh, send that communication, Gemini's, because this person wants this anxiety and worry to stop. And you see how both these pictures—they're crouched over. She's see how she's crouched over here in this picture, and then they're also. <laughs> and I just dropped the card. <laughs> They're also crouched over here in this card, Gemini's. So I feel like, yeah, this person is definitely going through some things. They want this to stop. They don't want to be in this stress anymore. And I feel like not talking to you is kind of putting them in, in some type of stress and anxiety. Could be a Leo, Gemini, Virgo, Pisces, a Gemini as well with the um, lover, Sagittarius with the Knight of Wands on the bottom. Yep, Seven of Pentacles. Oh, yes, Gemini's. King of Cups on the bottom. Listen, Gemini's, whoever this is loves you. If you ever doubt that, they love you. They may not show it. They don't show it to you. This person is very practical. They don't, they don't really like to show their feelings. I feel like they don't like to show their hand either. Even when you tell them how you feel, they don't like to um, say anything or... or express anything i feel like gemini's because this person feels like you're out of their league that's what i'm getting that's what i get for you guys a lot and like i said it doesn't even have to be with looks or money there's other ways to be out of someone's league um and so this person i feel like needs a lot of reassurance from you before they open up or before they are totally comfortable with um saying how they feel i feel like they are slowly but surely and some of you have known this person for a while it just never went anywhere this person is ready to invest um gemini's in the connection like i said it's whatever level next level of commitment yeah chariot on the bottom this person's coming gemini's whatever next level of commitment uh gemini's is yep what i tell you <laughs> the hangman yes Gemini's uh I love it something this is there's something here about I feel like surrender the hangman can also be about um a transition like I've been saying something going from one step to the another to another so this is very very fitting here um Gemini's this person is ready to surrender to the connection the Six of Cups again and the Five of Pentacles again. Are you serious? The Six of Cups. Mm -hmm. And the Five of Pentacles again. With the Seven of Wands on the bottom. Yeah, this person doesn't want to miss out on you. Gemini's. They don't want to miss out on you. I feel like, too, this person might be reminiscing and thinking about all the good times that y'all had. Or um, how good you made them feel. And how nurturing you were. And how nice you were to them. And... You may have done a lot for this person as well. Like, went out of your way for them. Um, I feel like this person is, like, really sitting and thinking about all that. And I feel like they don't want to lose that. They don't want you to end up with uh, someone else and do all this stuff for someone else, uh, Gemini's. Oh, I forgot to cut the deck. Oops. So I'm seeing way more close. As I'm shuffling, it fell out. And then um, I'm seeing One Wish by Ray J on the bottom. So literally this song is at the beginning of the song. is saying He's saying, can I talk to you for a minute? So yeah, Gemini, this person is going to reach out to you. And I feel like their motivation is, is they don't want to lose any more sleep. This person is losing sleep over this. 
over you, Gemini's. I told you. I'm seeing things differently now. I told you, Gemini's, they hang man out here two times. I told you. They see it differently. They're, they're seeing things from your point of view now. And this person could have done more. They could have given more. Um, yeah, as and like I said, as they sit and they, they reminisce, and they think about all the things that you've done for them, Gemini, and how you've made them feel. I'm jealous. I want you to myself. Lions, Tigers, Bears by Jasmine Sullivan. Worst, I assume, by JoJo. Yeah, I, I, I pick up on some self-sabotaging behaviors, too, from this person. <laughs> Stop ignoring me. <laughs> yeah. I've been picking up. See, if Gemini, listen, if you're ignoring this person, they're just driving them crazy. Honey, <laughs> you think I'm going to let you go that easily? Mm-hmm. I'm obsessed with you, yeah. Especially when you pull away from this person. They can't handle it. I love you. I told you, Gemini, this person loves you. <laughs> I love you more than I showed you. Wow, lots of love cards. Lots of lovey-dovey. I know you're the one for me. Mm, I told you, Gemini's. Nobody feels as good as you do. They may have told you this. They may have compared you to their exes, uh, Gemini's. I said that earlier. They may have, like, compared you to their exes. Didn't I say this? I stay awake for hours thinking about you. Didn't I say that, Gemini's? I told you this person thinks about you constantly, and they're losing sleep over you. Love-hate relationship? Mm-hmm. I can see that, too, and I feel like it's because, um, Gemini's, this person legit can't stand not being around you. Like, when y'all are on good terms... You're so damn sexy. All right, Gemini's. That's y'all's reading. If it resonates, hit that like, hit that subscribe, you guys. Thank you for watching. Peace out.